Hello, my name is Alex and today we're going to be going over how to undervolt your RX 570 or RX 580 video card and why you want to undervolt. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your AMD Radeon software. You can right click on your desktop and open AMD Radeon software. Then you want to navigate over to the performance tab, select the tuning option. And if it's the first time you're opening it up, you will have to check mark the user agreement. And the reason we want to undervolt is to optimize again our power consumption, which will also affect temperatures. Because by default, as I'll show you guys in a second here, all I'm going to be doing here is enabling um, the ability to adjust our core clock and voltage. Um, but by default, most AMD RX 570 and RX 580 video cards have much higher voltages than needed to run at the given clock. So for example, my Radeon RX 580 video card here has a state 7 clock of 1340 megahertz. And by default, it gives us 1150 millivolts for our voltage, which I can tell you right now is really, really high compared to what you actually need to run at this state and the reason it's so high by default is because when AMD, well when you're building these video cards the silicon it's like a silicon lottery you have some cards that can run that 1340 megahertz at maybe a thousand millivolts and then you have some that's just the, the silicon isn't as good and that's where you need to push 1150 millivolts so that the video card will run stable and not crash i've worked with so many of these cards that i have seen cards and i have tested ones that won't run any lower than 11 50. So this is something you will have to test for yourself. But in most cases, I've found, and what I'll be showing you here, that you can actually set your voltages a lot lower. And the reason you lower your voltages, again, is to reduce your power consumption. Because basically, your amperage, you times that by your millivolts, will give you your wattage for the card. So if you lower your voltage, you're automatically going to be drawing less watts and your card will run cooler. And this is really prevalent for people who have something like the Asus RX 570 4 gigabyte video card. It's got such a bad design, like the, the cooler so bad that it runs extremely hot. So this is what you're going to want to look at. All right. That's been two minutes already. Let's jump into how to undervolt. If you haven't looked at this before, you can copy some of my settings here. And basically all we have to do is match a stable voltage with the core clock. For someone like myself, I've done this many times before. I'm going to put in a very safe kind of undervolt here. So we're going to go from 1150 millivolts on state 7. I'm going to drop it down to 1020 millivolts. I'm pretty certain this will be safe. And all I do is all the other states underneath it, what I would like to call transfer states, I'm going to set a re like just I'm going to drop the voltage by 10 millivolts because in most cases we're not running in state 6 states 5 or state 4 it's either we'll be on state 0 or state 1 where we're kind of in our idle states or we'll be gaming and we'll be in state 7 which is our highest clock speed which will be our highest voltage as well so these are what I'll call transfer states so we're only going to lower the voltage by 10 millivolts until I guess it'd be state 2 is just like it's still I don't know, we don't need to adjust state 2 voltage is what I'm saying. Alright, so here, now we've just lowered our voltage. And what you'd want to do after adjusting your voltage on your card is open up a game, like let's say if you have Call of Duty Warzone, you play Fortnite, or you have a benchmark like Unigen Heaven, you can load it up, play, run it on the highest textures, and see if the game will run smoothly. If your voltage is too low, your system will blue screen or hang. Don't worry, nothing bad has happened. It just means the voltage is not stable for the core clock that you want to run. So what you do is you just hold the power button for five seconds, let the system shut down completely. Yes, it is a hard shutdown, so you don't necessarily want to have like a recording or stuff in the background. That's important. So you're going to want to hard power down the system, boot it back up, go into your AMD software and adjust your voltages. And just make sure that, I'll call these the transfer state voltages, that these voltages are just a little bit lower than state seven. Like I know, even though 1200, 1200 megahertz on the core can run on a lower voltage than 990, I still wanna put a higher voltage because sometimes they fluctuate really quickly between states and I just wanna make sure that it's not necessarily going to be our state 7 voltage that crashes. I just want to make sure that our transfer states are not going to be the reason that we hang or blue screen or crash. So basically, in summary, again, you're just going to want to play around with lowering your voltage a little bit on that state 7. I personally found you could lower it well over 100 millivolts on the state 7. 
Um, also, a quick note, if you are if you wanted to try to undervolt with MSI Afterburner, for example, the one issue you were you're gonna run into that is if you just go and open up the slider. I'll quickly open this up for you guys here. Uh, but I'm gonna get a huge overlay pop up because I was doing a benchmark. But let me quickly show you what I don't really like about MSI Afterburner. If you want to undervolt with MSI Afterburner, most people just go to the core voltage here. But let's say you drop the core voltage by like you saw here on our state seven, we were able to go from 1150 to 1020. So that's almost like minus 150 millivolts. The problem if I do that here is that this core voltage setting applies across all of the core states. So maybe state two is okay to run at 906 millivolts, but if I drop that by 150 millivolts, now we're going to be trying to run 900 megahertz on 750 core clock. That might not be stable, and that's why I recommend use the AMD Radeon software to do your undervolting. All right, I'm going to close the uh, MSI afterburner there so that the overlay goes away. I know this is a longer tutorial. But I mean, if you don't have seven minutes to look at this, no worries. All right. So now how do we set this up for a game so that every time you load a game, the specific setting loads in? What you're going to want to do is go to add a game profile. And let's say I want to play Call of Duty Warzone. And I find because it's an extremely demanding game, my GPU is always running at 100%. I just want to kind of lower the temperatures on my video card. One thing you can always do is set a custom fan profile. But in this case, let's say we already did that and our video card is still running at like 78 degrees or something really hot so what we can do in what we can do is come in here and again set custom voltages in some cases if you have bad airflow in your case you may not even want to run at the stock video card clocks let's say like you've got a, a tiny case and you've got one of these nice rx 580 video cards in it what you can do is even lower your core clock down and then that will allow you to run at an even lower voltage so for example here I dropped the the core uh, megahertz by 40 so now I can even drop my core voltage I'll probably just drop it by 20 millivolts there and then again I can go through all these settings and lower the voltage and every time I lower the voltage it's gonna lower our power consumption so I can just go through here and lower all of the settings and of course you just hit apply changes and now because we set a custom game profile every time we load call of duty modern warfare we will have these undervolt settings set and the biggest thing with this is it's all kind of trial and error like of course there are kind of given settings like for example 1300 megahertz you can probably run that on a thousand millivolts or at one volt there um, like you could probably, and then of course, if you know anyone who's doing GPU mining, they always run like 1100 megahertz on the core and 900 millivolts for the voltage there. Cause that's, they're doing something specific where they don't need a high core clock for like best optimized performance. They want to go for power efficiency. So it's to play around with the settings and find something that'll work for you. But yeah, on average, you can generally, for an RX 570 or RX 580, you can generally run 1300 megahertz on the core and 1000 millivolts for your voltage. Like, this wasn't, of course, the most in-depth tutorial, but hopefully it gives you at least a little bit of confidence to play around with these settings, with these settings here and optimize your card because it can really make a large difference in terms of temperatures and noise. Maybe you're running at the same temperature, but you can lower your fan speeds a bit, make it a little bit more acoustically acceptable. So that's why I recommend, like, don't just run the stock voltages. Come and open up AMD Radeon software, spend 30 minutes researching how to undervolt it, play around with the settings, set something that works for you um, because yeah it could really also help to the longevity of your video card and that's a big myth undervolting does not lower the like it doesn't lower the lifespan of your video card I'm not sure about undervolting like your memory or doing memory overclocks that's a whole nother thing but undervolting your core the worst thing that'll happen is you blue screen where your system hangs and all that means is you just have to bump up your voltage a little bit and of course make sure your transfer states have a high enough voltage so it doesn't crash in between there but yeah that is going to conclude our recording it was not short and sweet but we did cover some important things there if you guys do have any questions you can always feel free to reach out in the comment section below thanks